my name is neeti hola me am neeti and today we are going to be talking about the celestial events of december now we are starting on december 12th with the peak of the sigma hydrids meteor shower now this hydrids meteor shower's radiant point is in the constellation of hydra and a few meteors will be visible on uh, during the sunset of december 11th if that is when you want to see it and on december 12th again we have the large Mega magellanic cloud is placed well which is just the magellanic cloud which will be at its highest point in the sky but this will only be visible if you are in the southern hemisphere and if you don't know what the magellanic cloud is it is kind of like a dwarf galaxy which is very good friends with our milky way galaxy and they traverse the universe together and th there are two of these the large magellanic and the small magellanic cloud so the large magellanic is only 163 million light years away from us whereas the smaller one is 200 plus million light years away now since december is the month of meteor showers on december 13th we have another meteor shower and it is the peak of the geminids meteor shower so the geminids meteor shower is a very big meteor shower and it will uh, we were expecting up to 120 meteors per hour and the radiant point of this meteor shower is in the constellation of gemini now again on december 16 we have the peak of the coma berenicid meteor shower which is not a very large meteor shower like the geminids it has only three meteors per hour but it's still a very good meteor shower and its radiant point is in the constellation of leo and then again on december 19th we have another meteor shower which is the peak of the leonids minorids meteor shower and it will be uh, taking place in the constellation of leo minor and its uh, ZHR is also 3 meters per hour. Z, ZHR stands for Zenith Hourly Rate, which is basically how many meteors we will be seeing per 1 hour. And then on December 21st, we have a very important event, and it is the December Solstice. Now, if you are in the Northern Hemisphere, it will be the longest night of the year, which will be perfect for stargazing. But if you are in the Southern Hemisphere, it will be the shortest night of the year, because that's how the Earth is placed from the Sun. And then on December 22nd, we have peak of the Ursid meteor shower. Now, well, Geminids is the star of December's meteor shower list. The Ursids are peaking in this time of the year too. And it will start uh, at 22nd December. And then on 24th December, we have Mercury at its evening peak, uh, which is basically the highest, aka the for visually furthest from the sun. That means Mercury, Mercury will be very far from the sun and that's how we can see it because the sun's light won't be there to hide Mercury. And then on December 29th, we have the conjunction of the moon and Jupiter. So conjunction astronomically means when two objects look like they're on top of each other or next to each other. And in this case, those two objects are the moon and Jupiter. So that's all the events for December. I hope you liked this video. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. Adios.